So hands on with the Rising OS version 2.0, one of the most awaited custom homes for a lot of devices. I'm using the beta version right now on my Google Pixel device and while making this video, stable version is not rolled out yet and I will definitely not recommend you if you are if you want to try it out on a device, you can because it's it's not bugless for now. It's having few of the bugs here and there because it is in beta stage while making this video, but here's an overview regarding the features, the UI changes and everything. So let's get started let's find out some of the things you might have noticed this kind of setting is ui available in a lot of custom rooms originally this ui is implemented in this rising os or you can consider it as rising ui it is available publicly and a lot of custom rooms are applying this one of the custom room is ghost os and another one is i guess project matrix and there might be some more all those custom rooms are getting this kind of settings ui from this custom room originally available implemented in this custom room secondly personal personalization section if you are using custom rooms from some time you might already got to know that this kind of ui is looking like dot os if you know what i mean dot os brings you this kind of ui and it's it's back after a long time because dot os is not updated from a long time so it could be a good choice if you love the dot os ui personalization section is present here Quick settings panel because a lot of good UI changes are available. So it was expected that quick settings panel will also bring you Android 11 style UI. It's not by default included. You can simply enable this UI by moving into the settings. Let me show you how you can do that. Move into settings, personalization section, find out where the option is available here in my case it should be available in theming section here you will find in the quick settings panel and at the bottom you will notice the quick settings ui default or android 11 by default it's of course default android 14 style but if you use android 11 then the ui is what you can what you are able to notice here if i move on to the other option we also have the cloned apps feature which is a different as compared to the parallel space feature available in android 13 based custom rooms in android 13 you have the parallel space which means you can use multiple instances of the particular apps around five multiple instances but with the help of this cloned apps feature you can create these kind of clones and i guess you can create only one clone of the particular app so kind of a disadvantage but that's completely fine because it's available in every android 14 based custom room so far one more thing is if i move on to the settings options and in wallpapers and styles you will notice lock screen clocks yes these were already available in android 14 by default but the ui of these clocks these clocks are redesigned this is changed this is looking so amazing as far as i know it looks good as you can see we have different kind of clock styles available and there is no extra option needed to apply these kind of things available in the wallpapers and style section that's good by the way the home screen clock which you're able to notice it's it's not available by default i've applied with the help of a widget pack we'll let you know later on other options face unlock is also present as expectedly i don't use face unlock much on my device a lot of customers are providing you face unlock and uh, this rising os is one of them you can use face unlock on a device if you want to although app locker option is not present it's available in the default launcher but it's not available present it's it's not available right now one more thing is as we are talking about the default launcher let me tell you it is having autos launcher but one thing is that you have the option to switch between the launchers right now as this is autos launcher you can install this autos launcher as a magisk module on some android 14 based custom rooms you can check out my other channel where i share some magisk modules you will find that but here as you can see this is autos launcher which is available right now which is i'm using right now but in case you, you don't want to use that you are a pixel launcher lover so move on to the app section scroll to the bottom you will notice this quick switch option so if you choose by pixel launcher which is by default pixel launcher you have to switch to quick step launcher to use this but if i enable this option as you can see system restart required it's not getting system ui it's regarding system reboot so whenever i click on ok it will simply restart my device and after restarting i am able to use the pixel launcher so this is so amazing i'm able to use pixel launcher without having any issues you have the option to switch between autos launcher and pixel launcher all the gestures recent panel everything is working perfectly fine this is one of the best things to be honest for example if i move on to the settings options once again 
open the app section and if i open the see all apps you will find the pixel launcher is pre-installed i have not installed it separately as you can see i can't uninstall it because it's available by default in case recents doesn't work you can simply move on to the default home app select pixel launcher and done and then everything shall work without having any issues like this one this is it thanks for watching links are available in the description i will see you in the next one until then goodbye